how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel here i've got two android phones right now the one plus 15 and the other one is the oppo find x9 honestly these two have become my go-to smartphones and there is one solid reason why i keep coming back to them well it's obviously the software experience I mean, ColorOS or the OxygenOS 16 has become one of the best and most feature-packed versions of Android. Not just the smoothness and animations, but the amount of customizations and features that it offers is something that really needs to be appreciated. With that being said, today in this video, I'll be showing you how to customize your Oppo or OnePlus phone and take it to a whole new level. This Android UI has got the potential to give one of the best Android experiences, so why not get the best out of it? Stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys, first things first, all the customizations and features that I'm about to show you will not only work on the Oppo or OnePlus phones, but even if you've got a Realme device running the latest Realme UI 7, then you will be able to get all the features too. Now starting things with the always on display, I usually prefer to keep the full screen AOD on my phone since it does look pretty clean and seamless as it allows you to view your lock screen wallpaper alongside other key information on your always on display and it also very seamlessly blends with your lock screen as well. I don't think it comes enabled by default on your phone. So in order to toggle this on, just head over to your phone settings, then to home screen and lock screen, swipe down, go into the always on display. Here just make sure you have set it to full screen now coming to the lock screen, at first it's gonna look very simple and basic but trust me there are ton of options you get to make it look absolutely stunning. Now unfortunately there is no shortcut to go directly into the customization screen. So you need to unlock your phone first, go into settings, then to home screen and lock screen style. This is where you will find the flux themes and if you go inside. You will be greeted with some of the gorgeous looking themes that will completely change the look of your phone's lock screen in no time. We have got some beautiful animated themes, live clock section, themes with beautiful quotes and motivations and a lot more. Not just that, you also get options to further customize and choose different clock styles. You can adjust the font thickness, change the color. And then you can also add some of your most used widgets that can be directly accessed from your lock screen. Now what I usually do is, I just select a theme of my choice, then customize and tweak all the elements as per the requirement. Instead of using the system wallpaper, I just download some of the beautiful depth wallpapers from an app called ScreenCraft. By the way guys, this app is like your one-stop shop to find some stunning looking wallpapers for your Android phone. And most of the wallpapers you see on our videos are from the same app. So be sure to try this one out. Link is in the description below. In order to apply the wallpaper you just downloaded, just click on the wallpapers tab, then select this option that says choose from album and apply the one that you like. Here there is one really cool thing you can do with your lock screen wallpaper. If you select any theme that has text in it, then choose the wallpaper of your choice, click on custom and then tap on this AI icon, it's gonna generate a caption that goes really well with the wallpaper that you have set. And if you don't like it, you can generate another one too. Plus you get option to change the text style and size as well. So there are plenty you can do with the lock screen customization and completely transform your phone's look. And guys, instead of using the same wallpaper, I'll suggest you to also change the home screen wallpaper to make it look a bit different from your lock screen. Now coming to the home screen, well there is so much to talk about here. As you can see I've got two completely different looking home screen setups here and this you can easily replicate by using the enlarge folders and changing the icon shape. First we'll start with the icons. Guys there are quite a few things you can do with the app icons and all of this can be done without having to install any third party app or launcher from the play store. By default, you get rounded icons on the OnePlus and kind of squarish shaped icons on the Oppo phones, but you can simply go into your home screen and lock screen settings, then scroll down and select icons. Here you can not only change the icon shape from square to rounded by using the slider, 
but you can also adjust the icon size and there are three beautiful icon styles you get pre-installed on these devices. There is something called flux that changes the icon color based on the wallpaper and this is actually different from the material themed icons. Then we have got radiance and shadow. Other than this, you can also directly apply third party packs from the play store. But what I really liked is this new option called auto dark icons. Once you toggle this on, now whenever you apply a dark theme on your phone, it automatically gets applied to the app icons too and you will have dark icons that are so beautiful to look at. This is something which is not present on any other Android UI. Now the best part is all the icons are now scalable which means you can just long press on any of the app icons and completely change the shape however you want to. You can also add shortcuts related to that specific app icon and this way you can create some beautiful home screen setups like this. You can play around with the icon size and make your home screen stand out. With the Android 16, you can not only enlarge the folders, but if you long press on it, you get the option to change the layout as well. I usually prefer to keep it like this where I've got four apps in single folder, but again, you can tweak and change the layout however you like and make your home screen setups look amazing. On top of all this, Oxygen OS 16 also comes with a beautiful set of widgets that you can apply and I'll recommend you to start using the stock widgets on your home screen. I think it kind of completes the entire setup and gives it a very unique look. Next, if I swipe down, we get two different styles for the app drawer. One is the standard and the other is called categories. You can just swipe right to get access to the categories section. Or if you just tap on the three dot button and go into settings, just remove the app suggestions toggle here. And then if you click on this default view and change it to categories. Now, whenever you access the app drawer, it will open in the categories layout like this. So by default, you will get the categories at first. Coming to the control center, you can just click on this pencil icon and reposition the tiles and sliders however you want to. You can also add two additional big tiles in the top portion for quicker access. So there are a ton of customizations available everywhere throughout the Oxygen OS or the Color OS 16. And this is how you can set up and customize your OnePlus or Oppo phone without having to install any third party app on your phone. You get all these features built right inside the Oxygen OS 16. Let me know in the comments section if you want me to make a second part where I'll show you some more unique exclusive features of Oxygen OS 16. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.